You see, there's this angel. He has these arrows with the names of humans on them. When he shoots a human, they fall in love with the human of the name on the arrow. I'm using the term in love very liberally, because you know how superficial human love can be. I believe you might know this angel as Cupid. Anyways, his job is to make humans fall in love. Naturally, I couldn't have that. I couldn't have you artificially falling in love with someone and the fake, worthless, spineless affection. I had to save you. And so I did. I watched Cupid. I watched and watched for hours and days, weeks, until finally he stepped away from his quiver. Who's the failure of an angel now, huh? I ran to the quiver. I never knew for sure angels had hearts until mine was pounding at my chest as it was then. I pulled the arrow out rapidly one by one. Frantically looking for the one with your name, but I couldn't find it, and I panicked. Cupid could return at any moment and discover my actions against him and heaven. So I took the arrow out by the bushel, snapping them in two over my knee. Many would be lost as collateral damage, of course. But that is more than a suitable price to pay for you. It's not like there was one with my name in there anyways. The arrows are for humans. Of course, Cupid caught me, but it was too late for him. My eye met his just as I broke the last bushel over my knee. The look of agony and terror on his face, it was priceless. It reminded me of me. He froze up like a deer in the headlights. Time stopped for what seemed like ages. Until my laughter broke the silence. <laughs> yes, I laughed. How could I not? I won, of course. When he finally gathered up some semblance of composure, he flew away with utmost haste to warn the others of my treachery. I would imagine. And of course, I couldn't have that, nor could I. I chased him down. He had barely taken off when I grabbed him by the neck. In the moment, I could only think of how to ensure he couldn't get to the others to warn them. And then, it dawned on me. Such a divine revelation dawned on me. With a slash of my hands, I cut off his wings. He cried and cried. No more was he much of an angel without his wings. It really was quite poetic to see him cower at his feet. Like I cowered at the feet of all those angels who beat me and laughed at me. I asked him a simple question. Who's worthless now? Now who's pathetic and debased and unloved? All he could do was stutter like me in prayer. 
Of course, my job wasn't done. Without his wings, he couldn't fly to tell the other. But as long as he was in heaven, he could still walk to them and tell them. So, I shoved him over the edge of heaven and down to earth. It was exhilarating to see him literally fall from heaven, to be a fallen angel. It's what others used to call me, fallen angel. But still, the beating of my heart could not leave me alone. I had worried that perhaps an angel might look down at the earth, that perhaps they might see Cupid, the sobbing mess that he was, and perhaps they might tell. So I dug a hole, a deep, deep, deep hole, that when Phil would have too much dirt for even an angel to lift. And I tossed Cupid down there, and buried him beneath my feet. Finally, he was truly beneath me. Though, as I was burying him, I had noticed that my wings had become tainted black. And then, no matter how I beat them, I could not take off. So I am unable to fly back to heaven. Oh well, I thought. I know what I am. And who cares if I can't make it back to heaven? Heaven is where you are. And that brings me here to you. Now that you know what I've done for you. You, you know just how good of an angel I am for you. I am your one and only personal guardian angel. Utterly devoted, bar nothing. No one protects you like me. No one cares for you like me. No one will truly love you like I do. Especially not any human. I don't think any human has fallen from heaven just for you. I don't think any human chased down an angel and clipped his wings just for you, buried him just for you. So, what do you say? Will you accept me as your guardian angel? As your guardian angel? As your guardian angel. <laughs>